what if you could live in happiness in absolutely any moment you chose to do so? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm very glad you've joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Now, Metaphysical Ministry has nothing at all to do with religion, because religion and spirituality are two very different things. Your spirituality, and in this case the metaphysics of it, explains everything going on in quantum physics. In other words, you're creating your world by being who you are and how you are, where you're choosing to focus your energy, what you're allowing experience-wise into your reality. Because what you see, feel, touch, taste, sense with your five senses, that's less than 1% of the magnificent reality that composes our world. We begin every week with a happy share. Happy share is something that left you feeling good, feeling happy, feeling at peace. And you can share your happy share every day and create the habit of happiness by doing so over at thehappysharemovement.com. See, when you recall a memory and you share it, you get to relive it all over again. That's why when you think of things that bothered you, you feel cruddy. It's a choice you make. What if instead you choose to recall a happy memory? Now, I asked you before, what if you could access happiness all the time? Because I guarantee you can. You see, what you're listening to right now isn't even me. You're listening to the commentator. The commentator is that little voice in your head that's actually speaking from your left brain mind, which is your ego brain mind. Its job is to keep you safe, and it keeps you safe by keeping you from making changes, because that part of your mind and brain believe if you don't change anything, if you don't take risks, you're going to be able to stay comfortable. Now, of course, comfortable, you and I both know, has nothing to do with feeling good. It means not stepping out into some place new and different and unknown. On the other hand, your right brain, which is your right brain where the mind lives, that's actually a state of happiness that exists nonstop. It's there in every minute, and when you choose to, you can access your right brain. Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor calls it nirvana. She says, take a step to the right. Go into your right brain experience, into your right mind where all your feminine energy is, where you actually live in the fact that all is one, that we are all connected, and boundaries that we perceive using our five senses, using that left brain. It's completely illusion. So when you access the right brain, you actually will experience what people call nirvana, heaven on earth. And the thing is, when you're working out of your left brain, you may experience, in fact, that's where your fears come from, your doubts come from, your anger comes from, your frustration all up there in the left brain. Now here's the good news that Dr. Bolt Taylor shared with all of us. Physiologically, every one of those unpleasant experiences only lasts for 90 seconds. Nine, zero, 90 seconds. And if you're suffering beyond that 90 seconds, it's because you're choosing. You're making a choice to live and stay in that negative energy, that slow-moving, dense energy that's down here, instead of stepping to the right, living in the high, fast-moving, tall, quick wavelengths of happiness up here. I'm really glad you joined us today, and if you haven't done so already, go in over there, fill in your name and email address, and I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual journey. Now, if you're on the ministry site and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space. Holding a Space 
is visualizing an outcome for somebody they haven't manifested yet. So what we've seen before in our gathering community is someone getting a new car. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone getting a new car, a different home, classes that they wanted to take. It's a whole gamut of things. Something that's not in your life that you really want to have in your life, you see yourself in it. And that creates a thought form that goes out to the universe. I want more people see you in that reality too. Thought form gets bigger. Goes out to the universe in a bigger form. Catches the attention of the universe, brings it to you sooner. You know, you get to choose how you live in every moment. You can dwell in the weird, weird, weird worry, fear. The worry, the fear, the frustration, the sadness or you can take a step to the right and live in happiness. I wish you a week filled with conscious choices and many blessings.